Hey Libra, it's Land of the Comedian Medium, my air signs. And I am bringing you your love and relationship reading for June 9th. Uh, 9th. Wow, I just dated myself with 2020. Wow, I went to say 19 something. Holy shit. Okay, I have no idea why I did that. Okay, um, please hit like and subscribe for a chance to win a free reading or hypnosis. And visit EnchantedSky.com. You can book a reading. I'm 25% off right now for May and June. And um, you can visit the, my blog page, TheWiseWomanSage.com. I've got probably about 50 articles on there so far. i got to write again. I haven't put anything new on there in a little while. i got to do it. Um, you can visit my Facebook page, my Twitter, my Instagram. I'm going to be offering classes soon. I will be, you will see more information soon on that. And I'm going to be offering, if you want to join them, um, you just pay me a really, really cheap price. I'm not charging hardly anything, guys. I'm not. So, and you can join. It's only 15 bucks. <laughs> and you can join. And it's like things to help you stay grounded. Things to, you know, like I'd be teaching some psychometry classes. That's the art of reading objects. Um, mentoring. I got all kinds of stuff I'm going to be doing. So, because I do do a little bit of everything, like myself. So, matter of fact, I'm going out tomorrow to clear houses. Got some people that have some, some energy in their houses, and they want their houses cleared, and I do that all the time. So, all right? So, let's get on with this. Now, that you understand that this is going to be a love and relationship reading. I keep getting a couple of the readings I did this week was that I got... Um, I think I got like business partners, like, oops, stuff like that. And yeah, that's a relationship reading, right? And people are like, well, that isn't love. Well, it whatever's been on your mind, I mean, and that's been a focus for all of us. We've been we're a little worried about our money. So yeah, hello. All right. Just thought I would mention that because so that you understand. All right. So now you gotten some help before and you know you were pretty down and out and you'd gotten some help see look at i got i got this card that's this is a down and you're getting some help you got help from somebody or you gave help to somebody one or the other now you got a king of pentacles where there's money involved here so that's an earth sign which would be a taurus virgo capricorn now you're down and out. And I always think of this, the people say, oh, well, you can be ill when you have this card. This is what I see with this card. It's in your head. You know, you're, it's more of a fear of being down and out than anything. But coming into June, you're tied to something. You, you're probably in a relationship that's not so good for you. There may be a toxicity to it. There may be, um, maybe you're, maybe you've got a little bit of an addiction issue of some sort. Okay. And, there's a walking away and it's either by you or it's by them and you realize it's going to be hard work or they're going to realize it's hard work because see look at this is the hard work card and it's urging you to be careful to not mess your back up so because yeah you just they just are warning you but there's an aha moment here like you know um there's an expression shit or get off the pot it's kind of like that for this one and it's an aha moment. You know, you need to go forward. You need to stop your garbage or get away from a relationship that's not working for you anymore. And you need to realize, realize that for yourself because no one can do it but you. I can preach at you. I can do, well, this is going to happen and that's going to happen. But if you decide to go in a different route, it is a free will. That is why readings are never 100% because you may make a new decision. Now, as from what I'm seeing, that you'll know what I'm talking about or this will be on, on its way or underway within 30 days. So what, where, wherever I'm at now, what am I, the 22nd, 21st of May, you're going to know what I'm talking about and things will be in motion. This is a 30-day card. Yes, it's spiritual. Yes, it's you're doing soul searching, but this is a 30-day card. I'll bet my life on it. And... There is a cup I'll offer of love from somebody. I don't know who it is. Is it you offering it to somebody or somebody offering it to you? But there is a cup of love coming your way. Okay. Now this could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio also. But look at how this lays. You're going forward. I always call this what the hell card. You're like, oh, let's just do it. Let's just go forward. Let's do it. 
And this card is a thinking of the past, revisiting the past. Maybe it's something in your past that you're revisiting. But either way, that's what you're going to be doing. Now, your overall theme is there's messages coming. There's a message coming from somebody. I want to say it's written. Okay? So, and you're going very forward very quickly. With a lot of hope, a lot of ambition, let's do this. Come on. It's um, not, this card is not as intense as this card. Because this is a major arcana and that's not. But just to let you know, that's your major feelings for the whole the whole reading for the month. Now, I like this deck. It's straightforward, but don't be surprised. It's probably got the same meanings as what's laying already. All right, so foundation and achievement. Remember, you had to lay your form foundation to get to where you're at now. With prosperity be starting to begin. You're going to do some planning. Prosperity, financial changes, and choose wisely. <laughs> Okay, because remember I told you that there would be money involved? Because it just seems to me like there's just money everywhere because that's what's been on everybody's minds. So collectively, that's what we're doing. But look at patience and planning. They're urging you. If you do go forward and you want to leave, you want to start something new, you want to revisit something, maybe you, remember I said this is love and relationship. Well, it could be a relationship with yourself. It could be a relationship with a new career that leads to love. See, and all I know is that they're urging you to plan this out. Just don't, this, this is where this, there's a change coming. This month is a change for you, but they're urging you to plan this out and not just go half cocked because this is the card of being ha like, you know what I mean by half cocked, like a, like a, like a gun. It's not completely one way or the other. And it's just all over the place. That's can be, this card can be that. And they're urging you not to do that. Okay. Now. Material and spiritual prosperity, making yourself happy spiritually as well as materially, all right? And that's, you think about how important being spiritually abundant is just as important as being financially abundant. What good does it do to work 80 hours a week if you have no time to enjoy the money you're making? Just think about that. I mean, think of the, 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 the oxymoron, <laughs> you know, the, the whole situation is like that, okay? Um, you know, the, the poor rich man, you know, because a rich man who doesn't, doesn't enjoy themselves is poor. So, um, financial material changes. And I still say that, um, I'm not saying that you're going to be broke. That's far from that. It's just going to be different. But my judge, you, there's a change coming. And here you go. Look at this. Choose wisely, which I find very interesting that it sits there. Okay. Um, and you're going to know what I'm talking about in 30 days. Maybe you're going to make the change. Maybe the change is brought upon you by somebody else. But there's a definite change. And there is a definite uh, chaining. I always say chaining. This could be the monkey on your back. You, are, you, are you drinking too much? Are you too worried about your money all the time? That can be, that can be, you know, anxiety, depression. That could be a monkey on your back. And you're trying to get rid of it. You're, you're trying to have an aha moment to get rid of all the negativity that's in your life. Okay? Now, somebody's bringing you love. And like I said before, this could be yourself bringing yourself love. Making self-love. Making yourself happy. Um, this could be somebody bringing the, somebody that's been in your life before that's coming back. Depends on what, how you're viewing it. You know, there's many different things going on. It's hard to be exact when I'm reading for 5,000 people, 6,000 people, whatever. So, um, but a lot of you guys will know what I'm talking about and it's urging you to take the leap of faith. So don't be afraid. I don't see any fear cards. I don't think anybody in this, in Libra is going to be afraid of this. It's needed changes, okay? With that said, this is Landa, the Comedian Medium. Please hit like and subscribe. I'll be bringing you back your spirituality, wellness, and mental wellness for June, really soon, okay? Blessings.